Hello friends, welcome back to Gate Shot Trick Series. We are back with one more interesting trick, and the trick is to find thevenin or not an equivalent resistance. And let me tell you, this is the fastest way that you ever see. So let's start with the first sum, and there only we will see the trick. So the first sum is from E E C 2012. The impedance looking into the nodes one and two in the given circuit is the circuit is present here, and the options are here. So first, take a look how I solve this sum, and then I will show you the trick. rth is 50 by 1 ampere that is 50 ohm so the correct option will be a so interesting right so let's see this trick into detail so the trick is you have to follow this three condition the first condition is in which you find all independent sources are present okay so if in the circuit if you get all independent sources then you have to simply make independent voltage source to short circuit and current source to open circuit okay to get the rth now for the condition to where you will find some independent source and some dependent source then you have to simply consider a vdc voltage and the current flowing through this vdc as idc okay and your rth will be simply vdc by idc and while calculating this vdc by idc you have to short circuit the voltage sources independent voltage sources i will say independent voltage sources and you have to open circuit the independent current sources okay so the second condition is you have to assume vdc voltage across your two points and the current flowing from your vdc will be idc and while calculating rth that is vdc by idc you have to short circuit the independent voltage source and open circuit the independent current source so basically you are replacing your independent voltage source and current source by their input impedance okay now let's see for condition 3 the condition 3 is in which you find all dependent source no independent source is present okay so at that time you have to assume one ampere current flowing through your two points okay let's say this is your two points one two you have to assume one ampere current flowing through your two points and calculate the vth across this one ampere point okay and your rth will be simply vth by one ampere okay for this condition three you can also assume one volt of voltage source between this two terminal and find out the current flowing through this terminal to get your rth but let me tell you this one ampere wala method is more easier than one volt wala method okay so let's see this trick into the action so coming back to the first sum you can see the question was to find out the equivalent resistance across this point one and two okay so you can see here we don't have any independent source we have only one dependent source okay so this is a condition three problem where we have to assume one ampere current source between this one and two okay so you can see i have modified this circuit into this one where i have connected one ampere current source okay and you can see here this two resistance are in series so i have taken into series and replace it by 10k okay. and you can see the same current is flowing through this branch okay so now if we try to find out vts you can see we have a dependent source okay and you can see it is dependent on ib so the first step you have to do is you have to find out ib okay so you can see ib is here nothing but 0 minus vth upon 10k so that's what i have written here now we have relation so now we can go for vth so you can see if you apply kcl at this point you will get vth by 10k plus vth by 100 minus 1 minus 99 ib ib is nothing but minus vth by 10k is equals to 0 okay so you can see this is nothing but 99 vth by 10k okay so you have 99 vth by 10k and here you have vth by 10k so if you add it you will get 100 vth by 10k plus vth by 100 is equals to 1 okay so if you simplify it it will become vth by 100 plus vth by 100 is equals to 1 it is nothing but 2 vth by 100 is equals to 1 so it will be vth is equals to 50 volt and our rth is nothing but 50 volt by 1 ampere as we have considered 1 ampere current source 
flowing between this one and two points okay so you can see rts will be 50 by 1 ampere is equals to 50 ohm okay so you can see if you follow this trick you are going to solve this type of sum very fastly and now coming to the second sum second sum is of ec 2007 for the circuit shown in the figure the thevenin voltage and resistance looking into x and y are so you can see here we have to find out the thevenin voltage along with the resistance okay and if you observe this circuit you can see we have dependent source as well as independent source okay so it is a condition 2 problem okay so the so to solve condition 2 problem we have to assume vdc across x and y okay so if we assume vdc we will get the circuit like this and you know like if we assume the vdc we have to short circuit all independent voltage source and we have to open circuit all independent current source okay so we are doing this one ampere this will be open circuited okay and we will remain with this two ohm resistor and here we have r plus minus vdc and here we have idc current flowing okay and we will get back idc here and i is this one okay so you can see this point is nothing but our vdc right so our i will become vdc by 1 ohm okay so it is nothing but vdc so now if we apply kcl we will get vdc minus 2i it will be minus 2 vdc okay upon 1 plus vdc by 1 will be nothing but vdc only plus vdc by 2 minus idc is equals to 0 okay so here we will get vdc minus 2 vdc will be minus vdc plus vdc will be 0 so we will remain with vdc by 2 minus idc is equals to 0 so we will get vdc by 2 is equals to idc so our rth will be vdc by idc will be equals to 2 ohm okay so we get our rth so you can see from the option this a and d can be right but we have to find out vdh also so for vdh you have to simply apply the kcl at this point okay and in this circuit you don't have to replace any voltage source or current source okay so if you apply the kcl we will get vth minus 2i i will be nothing but vth by 1 okay so it is nothing but vth only upon 1 plus vth by 1 okay minus 2 plus vth by 2 is equals to 0 okay so vth minus 2 vth it will be minus vth plus vth is nothing but 0 so we will get vth by 2 is equals to 2 so it is nothing but vth is equals to 4 volt okay so you can see if you follow this trick you are going to solve this type of sum very easily okay and now let's see another interesting sum this is of ec 2015 in the circuit shown the norton equivalent resistance in ohm across terminal a and b is okay so we have to find out the norton equivalent resistance across this a and b let me tell you norton equivalent or thevenin equivalent resistance both are same okay so you have to use the same procedure so first step is we have to find out this circuit is satisfying which condition so you can see we have only dependent so so it is a third condition sum so we have to assume one ampere current across it so we will assume one ampere current across it and we will find out the vth across this one ampere current source okay so it's very simple first we will find out the relation for i i is nothing but vth by 4 now if we apply kcl we will get vth minus 4 upon 2 plus vth by 2 plus vth by 4 minus 1 is equals to 0 here we have i so if you put the value of i we will get vth minus 4 vth by 4 plus vth by 2 plus vth by 4 is equal to 1 okay so you can see if we simplify it we will get vth minus vth so it is nothing but 0 vth by 2 plus vth by 4 so it is nothing but 2 into 2 okay 2 vth plus vth it will be 3 vth by 4 equals to 1 so it is nothing but vth is equals to 4 by 3 okay so now we get vth we know the current flowing through this a b so we will get rth as vth by 1 ampere so it is nothing but 4 by 3 ohm okay so this is the answer so you can see if you follow this condition you will no longer have to check for anything you will hit the target directly and get your answer easily okay now let's see one more interesting sum this is of ec 2017 consider the circuit shown in the figure the thevenin equivalent resistance in ohm across pq okay so first we have to check for the condition 
so you can see we have independent source as well as dependent source so it is a condition 2 problem so we have to assume here vdc and we have to short circuit all independent voltage source and open circuit independent current source so here we have independent voltage source so we will short circuit it and this resistance will become redundant okay so we will get the circuit like this here we have short circuited voltage source this one ohm is redundant and we will get this one ohm here here we have minus plus 3 i o here also we have i o 1 o 1 o here we have assume plus minus v d c i d c will current flow through this and we will get i d c back ok so you can see here we have i o here we have i d c ok and by kcl we will get the current of this this current will be nothing but idc minus io so if we add up idc minus io plus io it will nothing but idc okay so this is what the current we get in this terminal now if we apply the kvl like this we will get minus 3 io plus io here it will be minus minus idc minus io is equal to 0 note here why i have taken a minus here because you can see we are taking kvl like this but the current is flowing in this way okay so here it will be plus and here it will be negative okay so that's why i have taken minus here okay so if we simplify it we will get minus 3 plus 1 is nothing but minus 2 io minus 2 io plus io it will be nothing but minus io so minus io minus idc is equals to 0 so idc is nothing but minus io and we know rth is nothing but vdc upon idc right idc is nothing but minus io okay so now we want vdc okay so you can see vdc is nothing but 1 into io okay vdc is nothing but the voltage across this 1 ohm resistance okay so if you replace it we will get io upon minus io okay so it is nothing but minus 1 ohm note one thing don't fear from this negative value of resistance as you can see the circuit is having a dependent source it means that resistance can have a negative value okay so don't get afraid from this negative resistance value okay so now let's see one last interesting sum so now let's see this sum this is of ec 2008 the thermal equivalent dependence zth between the nodes p and q in the following circuit is okay so the circuit is present here and the options are here so you can see in this circuit we have all independent source okay so it is a condition one problem condition one says that if you have to find out the resistance equivalent across this two point and you have all independent source then you have to simply replace voltage source by short circuit and open circuit the current source okay so you can see we have a independent voltage source here so we will replace it by short circuit we have a independent current source so we will replace by open circuit now we are remaining with this circuit but if you see it here we have inductors and capacitors okay and you can see the in option we have in terms of as okay so these options are saying that you have to find out the equivalent resistance in transform domain okay so we have to convert this inductor and capacitor in, in laplace transform first okay so if we convert it we will get one ohm here we have short circuited and for inductor it will be nothing but s l l value is 100 so it is nothing but s here we have our pq point our equivalent we have to find out capacitor will be 1 upon cs c value is 1 farad so it will be nothing but 1 upon s here we have 1 ohm right so now you can see r equivalent is nothing but 1 plus s parallel with 1 plus 1 upon s okay so if we use the formula we will get 1 plus s r a multiplied by r b so it will be 1 plus 1 by s upon r a plus r b so it will be 1 plus s plus 1 plus 1 by s okay so if you simplify it we will get 1 plus s 1 plus s upon s 1 plus s plus 1 plus s upon s okay so now you can see we can take 1 plus s common from numerator and denominator so we will get 1 plus s by s 1 plus s is taken common and got cancelled from numerator and denominator so we will get 1 plus 1 by s okay so it will be nothing but 1 plus s by s it will be s plus 1 is nothing but 1 plus s by s okay so it will be simply 1 ohm okay so the correct option will be this a okay so you can see if you follow this three condition you can solve this type of sum very easily very fast okay so that's it for today thank you guys Oh, 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 oh,